and welcome to Model Kit Stuff and today's Focus on Tools video we're looking at the Sphere Products Dragon Tail Horizontal Brushing Tool Rack. That's this bad boy here. So most people store their brushes um, in something similar to this. As you can see I store my brushes in this. Um, the the idea is um, your brushes are all separ separated, they're easy to grab, um, they're easy to keep organised. You don't have to root through them, like if you've got them all in a drawer you've got to take them out and find the right end and so on and so forth. It's just a good way of organising your brushes and it's brilliant except you really shouldn't store wet brushes that way around. Let me tell you why. So when you've cleaned your paintbrush Ideally, in a perfect world, you actually want to store it upside down. And the reason you want to store it upside down, bristles down, is you don't want any water or cleaning products going down into the, the bezel of the, uh, of the paintbrush because that will eat away at the, gl at the glue and eventually you'll start getting bristle loss or the bezel will become loose uh, and, it'll, and the handle will wriggle out because the glue's perished. Um, and also, um, if you store your brush that way around when your brush is wet from cleaning, um, what you might find is that the end of the bristles starts getting hard and that's when your bristles spread out like a fan and you've no longer got a tip that you can retrieve on your brush and so on and so forth. So when your brush is drying, you really want to have it upside down and we'll perhaps do a little uh, tips video on how to go around doing that. Now what I like to do is um, it takes quite a while to uh, dry a paintbrush so what I like to do is once I've washed my brush I will have it upside down for a period of time and then once the the um, brush is sort of dryish to the touch but you know there's probably some moisture in the brush I like to store it that way around I know that I'm not going to get any moisture coming into um, my uh, bezel um, and I'm still keeping it out air dried um, but it's still not quite ready to go in my rack. So it's a handy way of storing my brush in an intermediate position between just washed and ready to be stored. Um, so that's when this um, dragon tail it's a really nice name isn't it? Dragon Tail Rack comes in. So the rack itself comes from Sphere Products which is a UK company that makes paint storage racks and tool racks and vices, holding tools, that sort of stuff. Um, and it's all on the basis of laser cut fiberboard that comes flat pack that you self assemble usually using um, an Allen key. Uh, screw on a nut. Um, they're quite well um, designed uh, and engineered um, and as a result they're not expensive. In the UK this will cost you um, £5 so nothing, it's pocket money stuff um, and I've had this for, for quite some time. Um, and what this is great for is um, it, it will hold a certain number of brushes like I've just explained I store some brushes there in a sort of a temporary position before they go away. But if also if I've got a big um, painting project on and I'm using brushes time and time again, say um, painting several um, figures for example, or um, I'm painting um, a number of different complex parts and I want different sizes of brushes, then what I will do is I'll paint I'll clean the brush, I'll put it on there knowing that I'm coming back to it maybe in the next 10, 15, 20, half an hour, whatever it is. So it, it's really handy to have right next to your mat when you're doing um, paint jobs where you need lots of different paint brushes and that's basically what I use it for. This is permanently set up on my um, desk um, at arm's reach because there is a tendency to sometimes knock the paint brushes off. Um, so I have it just a little bit out of knocking reach and I can fit what well, I'm actually I've never counted it two four six eight ten brushes on there because you can actually use that that join in fact when I'm a little bit busy I've even got three brushes on there before now 
Um, so you could go up to 12 at a push. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really handy tool just for storing your brushes right next to you uh, when you're working, when you want to just have something close to hand. So uh, even if I'm working on a job over um, two or three days and I've been using certain brushes and I know those brushes have worked for me, and I'm, I'm, especially if I'm going back to the same paint colour and, and what have you, then I'll tend to put them on here and use them from here rather than having to dig them out on the main storage. And then eventually um, they'll go back into the main storage when that, that job is finished and the, the rack is there ready to use again. So um, uh, yeah, it, it's just a brilliant way of having a number of brushes in a quite a confined space. Um, because, I mean, what's my footprint here? To be able to store 12 brushes in a footprint that's, well, for you Americans, it's a little over four and a half inches, um, 12, uh, 12 centimeters um, for, for me. I think it's a great little solution. Um, and at that sort of price, you know, it, 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 it's brilliant and it's nice, it's nice and easy. But you could use it for um, knives, um, files, maybe even tweezers. So if you, if you were looking for a little small sort of handheld storage device that would hold one or two of your um, common tools and, and, and a few paintbrushes, it's really quite handy. It's so, flexible as your imagination really. Um, I use it as it was intended just for paintbrushes um, but they do say paintbrush and tool so um, they do put it out there but yeah um, I love it it's a great little tool um, it's always in use it's, it's been used on every project since I've had it um, there's nothing to go wrong with it it's well made well constructed um, cheap to buy everything you're looking for in a tool is it an essential tool well no you could make something out of cardboard if you wanted um, but at that sort of price is it really worth the effort so uh, yeah, it's a great tool, it's not essential, um, but it's really handy. Hope that was useful. Enjoy your modelling, take care everyone, and I will see you soon.